Hi everyone, happy Friday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Bowman Baseball. It's a jumbo edition, four box, half case, jumbo, random team break number one. All teams are in, as always with Bowman Baseball, no paper ships except for, in this case, Dominguez, Robert Poston, and Bobby Witt Jr. So, and remember, jumbo has three autographs per box, which is nice. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into it. And all 30 teams are in, and trades will be allowed. So let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a two, five times for each list. One, two, three, four, and five. After five times, we've got Chris down to Brandon. Ryan A., what's going on? Happy Friday to you, too. You know, you, you can figure out exactly what you missed, Ryan, if you click that break schedule, then you'll see. All right, big thanks everybody right here. Three and a two, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five, we've got the Royals down to the Giants. All right, Chris with the Royals, Brandon with the Cardinals, Douglas with the Astros, Greg with the Yankees, Tony with the White Sox, Adam with the Twins, Matt with the Tigers, Brandon with the Indians, Raymond with the Brewers, Brian with the Diamondbacks, Zach, you got my Dodgers, champs. Anthony, O's, EA with the Rays, Brian with the Rockies, Dario with the Braves, Jordan with the Angels, Nicholas with the Phillies, last spot mojo. Allen with the Mariners, Darren with the Marlins, Brian with the Blue Jays, EA with the Cubs, Matthew with the Reds, Matthew T with the Reds, Oliver with the Nats, Brandon with the Rangers, Rex with the Red Sox, Matthew with the Pirates, Chris with the Mets, Brandon with the A's, Adam with the Padres, Brandon with the Giants, my rivals. Let's get all this on one screen right here. Let's sort by column B by team. And I'm, I'm gonna flip away from the screen just for a second. So we're going to have to figure out which half we're going to do right here. And Chris has the Mets up for trade, by the way. It's kind of heavy. Let's pop this case open. done. National Baseball Card Day poster already happened. All right, we got select this nice Dodger blue die right here. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's two. So we're going to do the left side right here. And this we will reserve for next time. So this is random team one. So let's So we're going to write RT2 on those boxes right there so we all know that they're from the same case. All right, so we're going to pause the video just for a little bit. And when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break itself. Stick around. BRB. All right, welcome back, folks. No deals were done, but it's all good. Big thanks again for uh, spending your bit of your holiday Friday with us. Hopefully everyone had a uh, great, uh, healthy and happy Thanksgiving, whatever you did. Appreciate it. Thanks for spending time with us too. And let's see what all this has in store for us. Three autographs per box on average. Doesn't say on average, but you know, we'll see. Anyone have any idea what the what the hot Christmas toy is? Is it this? it's not this? It's Laser X. You can play laser tag anywhere. It looks fun. How accurate could these be? A three hundred foot range? I feel like this is one of those things where where you get it 
and then it's not as it's not as great as you think it would be. I'm sure Mandalorian toys are pretty hot. <laughs> Prism football boxes are the hot Christmas toys. Yeah, PS5, I guess, is the big Christmas toy, right? But what about for, like, kids, though? I don't know. When do you... When is an appropriate... What's an age-appropriate time to get a PS5 for a child? I would say... Middle, middle school? No, maybe younger than that, right? No, maybe maybe it is PS5. There's got what about for the for the kid kids though? This is always a hot toy, right? Probably Mandalorian stuff. Maybe Baby Yoda stuff. I'm sure it's pretty popular this year. Hatchimals. Last year Hatchimals was it Hatchimals last year? Hatchimals were a thing. We had some people telling us they can keep Hatchimals in stock. Or maybe it's just prison football boxes. All right, here we go. So once again, paper does not ship unless it's those uh, main guys. Uh, Robert Pawson, Bobby Witt Jr. And uh, Jason Mingus, obviously. And all that chrome will shit. There's our first paper, Jason Dominguez. Alright, AZ is saying that your kids still love... Oh, still love the Minecraft, Fortnite stuff. That's what Ryan's saying, too. Fortnite stuff is still... A bit. Fortnite's still big? I guess it is. Alright. Uh, Greg with the Yankees. There's Josiah Gray to 4 dollars That's for the world champion Dodgers for Zach Paul. For the for the kids, are huh? Fortnite stuff still, still for the kids, huh? Man, sometimes I watch those Fortnite pros play, and I'm just like, how do you, how do you like fight people, <laughs> and then build things at the same time? It's like. Like the, the, the shooting of the people is hard enough in Fortnite. Let alone uh that's this for the A's, Brandon, let alone building a building at the same time. I should rip a box of series one Fortnite? I should, but I guess I wouldn't I I don't know anything about it aside from I really don't know anything about it, so I don't know if, how fun that would be for me. There's uh Logan Davidson to two fifty. We might have some personals on the Instagram channel of that. Logan Davidson A's to 250. Ah, yeah, ba baseball gear stuff is all, always good. Yeah, AZ's kids play uh, baseball, softball year round, so there's always up for new gear. There's our first paper, Bobby Witt Jr., Royals, Chris Murphy. People are saying that there is Maybe a Trevor Story comp for uh, Bobby Wood Jr., which would kind of be awesome. There's our first autograph. There's Diosbel Arias for the Rangers. That's going to be for Brandon. Nice.
right, next half here. A Legos, Jaspish. Uh, yeah, Legos are still big. And there's Miguel Vargas. Refractor autograph for the Dodgers. 303 out of 499. Zach Paul with my Dodgers, the world champs. For Christmas, I got to start picking up some Dodgers gear for myself and start telling friends and family what they can get me to. <laughs> Just world championship Dodgers gear. Jaspi's Legos. Should we, should we stop? We need to stock Legos in here. We have Pokemon here at the shop in Hermosa Beach. And uh, Pokemon does brisk business here. In fact, we still have Pokemon bundles available at Jaspi's here in Hermosa Beach. If you come visit the shop, if you're in the area. Yeah, the kids, Ryan, definitely into the Pokemon stuff. We, we, got, we got kids coming in here. Pretty much every day, looking at our collection of Pokemon singles. There's Sam Huff right there to 150 Pokemon singles and buying Pokemon packs and boxes and stuff. Still pretty popular. Sam Huff for the Rangers going to Brandon. Is that number? Oh, it is. There it is. 45 out of 50. Jaron Duran and Kyle Lewis paper. Nice Kyle Lewis purple paper, 240 at 250. The AL Rookie of the Year going to Alan Murdoch. And the M's. And this Jaron Duran hidden finds is going to go to Rex and the Red Sox. That's what he's all about, Rex. There he is. There's a Chrome Jason Dominguez. I wonder, if, does the Martian sell as well now as he did when this first came out? This goes to the Yankees. There's, it's for Greg. I think a lot of these cards have popped. You probably have to start grading these by now to get any separation in the market. But I think, I think that's definitely just something to hold on to. $200 for a PSA 10 was about $500. I was going to say, it's probably a good time to buy low on Jason Dominguez. Imagine if, he, if, he's, if he's just halfway decent, right? Or a rookie of the year candidate. Man, fans of the Yankees will snap that up. There's tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo for Chris Welty. There's Tony Dibrell. For the Metropolitans. There's our first paper, Robert Hassan. And if you already have Jason Dominguez's, I would I would imagine it would just it's just a mat. Don't worry about the dip in the market. It's just a matter of just holding on to it now, you know. He lost a minor league season, which was kind of a, kind of a bummer because of COVID, obviously. But just keep an eye on how he does in the minor leagues next year. And then um, I think we'll, those prices might start creeping up again. And obviously, definitely when he's closer to an MLB debut. All right, that was box one of four. Here is box two. This is 2020 Bowman Baseball Jumbo Edition. Four box random team break number one. This is part of the promo. So if your name is on here, you've got you've got a chance to be in that promo. Details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. More breaks to buy on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Promo information on jazbeescasebreaks.com and filler information in the chat. Pinned in the chat is filler information and the break schedule. When we started this break, nothing was sold out after this, but we'll go through some more orders after this. How many years until he makes it to the major leagues? Mike Tower, good question. How old is he? He's pretty young, I think. 
Uh, born in 2003. I would have, but, but, but apparently he's, he's pretty good. He's eight, yeah, he's, he should be up, yeah, I can see two or three years. Maybe a tiny bit earlier if, if he just absolutely dominates in the minor leagues. Carlos has at six or seven first edition Bowman Dominguez's to get graded. Four or five Sapphires, an auto or two, but you hate the wait times. You may as well just send them now. Yeah, exactly, Chris. There's no rush. He's not going to be up for two or three years. You probably won't even consider selling them again until he's closer to Major League ready. PSA just raised their prices. They they did a little while ago. Did they raise them a second time? What's crazy is that even with the raised prices, people there there's people are still getting cards graded. Wait times are still crazy, Kevin, unless you're willing to pay up for it, pay up to like the fastest service. Here's Bobby Witt Jr. for the Royals for Chris Murphy, but it could be six, set, yeah, it's Chris Welty saying seven months plus. There's Jazz Chisholm. For the Marlins. So yeah, so if you have stuff that you want to get graded, I, I would just just get it in, just get it locked in now. My tower was asked, who are the good candidates for Rookie of the Year next year? I'm not too sure. There's Nick Madrigal to four ninety nine. That's for the White Sox. That'll be for Tony Barkey. And look at that, a Bobby Witt Jr. autograph for Chris Murphy, who got randomized the Kansas City Royals here in Random Team 1. That is nice. He's drafted in 2019, so I think he might, he might be a, a couple years away too. Pretty nice stuff. <laughs> His auto does kind of look like it says butt, right? Wow, I can't. I, I don't know if I'll be able to unsee that. There's Tyler Freeman to 125. <laughs> Zach says, uh, PSA timing crapshoot. His advice is just sell cards to him. <laughs> oh, this kind of says butt right there. Tyler Freeman goes to Cleveland. That's for Brandon. One in the background is the Alex Smith E60 or documentary or whatever ESPN oh, E60 
That leg is gruesome. I can't believe he's playing. And we got Adam Hall, 13 out of 250. Adam Kids in the Hall going to Anthony Snow and the Baltimore Orioles. Still blows my mind. Jason Dominguez paper going to the Yankees. That's for Greg. Chasing, span, spanning the globe, chasing the globe, spanning the globe, Jason Dominguez, going to the Yankees. Yeah, me too. I can't wait for the baseball season to start again. AZ. There's a lot of, lot of prospects that lost a year. In the minors that we were kind of looking forward to seeing their progression, but hopefully we'll start to see that again next year. Mike Tower was saying, let's go revisit his question. He was asking, who are the big, who are the big rookies going to be next year? The rookie of the year candidates. Any prospects looking to make? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how many of the the rookies kind of gobbled up their eligibility um, in that shortened season. Ooh. A one out of five, Dylan Cease. Ooh, Wander Franco, that's a that's a good one. Anthony Volpe, right? Maybe Yankees. Dylan Cease, one out of five, rookie of the year. Uh, favorites, yeah, rookie of the year favorites. Nice low number for Tony and the White Sox. Of course, out of fives and under, get the. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! There's a chrome. Uh, chrome Bobby Wood Jr. Actually, yeah, Gavin Lux may not have gobbled up all of his rookie eligibility. He didn't play very much this season, or last season. So yeah, he should be eligible. Christian Pache eligible? He should be. Arozarena must have. Yeah, Mike. Arozarena must have rookie eligibility too. All right, so there's some, there's some guys. Maybe Andrew Vaughn, Zach's thinking. Yeah, the White Sox have a lot of great, great prospects. Keeper Ruiz might, might get some looks in camp. They still have they still have Austin Barnes and Will Smith. Not sure if Barnes is going to be a long term answer. We'll have to see. Now 
wonder if, uh, I wonder if, uh, I don't know. We'll have to see how the off season goes. If the, if the D, if the DH stays, who knows? Will basketball hockey need to use bubbles or hugs? And, well, basketball, I think, is, is starting on December 22nd, and I think they're going as normal. I mean, I don't think arenas, depending on the state and the city, could be, could be partially full or whatever. But no, I think, uh, I think they're just going to roll with them just traveling. But yeah, I don't, I don't know who, I don't know if that's how long that's going to last. When we're kind of re-peaking pandemic-wise, and then, you know, we'll have to see what, uh... But, I don't know, uh, basketball rosters are so much smaller than, say, an NFL roster, so maybe it's easier to, maybe it's, maybe it'll be easier for them to stay safe. Vanilla, what's up? See cards of Russell Wilson, the Yankees, and Rocky Home. He didn't play baseball. Dude. What's the story with that? Yeah, he was drafted. And sometimes he, uh, I think sometimes he shows up to camp in spring training just to work out with the guys for like a week. So that's why you get pictures of him in uniform too. And I think his draft rights must have, I think, gets traded here and there. I think, yeah, I think went from the Yankees to Rockies, maybe? Rangers? But I think he does have a Bowman auto. Oh, yeah, Chris Welty saying he does have a Bowman auto. I think the Yankees drafted him. So that, yeah, that Yankees Bowman auto seems to be pretty, uh, pretty good. Glenn Allen Hill. Junior to four ninety nine Arizona. That'll be for Brian Croft. I'm not sure if, if pro athletes are going to get any sort of preferential vaccine treatment, unless they. I can I can see, I can see teams paying for it though, like, you know, paying an additional premium for it. There's Julio Rodriguez. He's supposed to be really good too. But I don't know. I think I, I think the frontline workers are going to be taken care of first. But we'll see how like individual organizations may treat things differently. I don't know. Julio Rodriguez, Purple Chrome for the M's. Alan Murdoch with the Mariners. Yeah, that is a nice perp. Nice perp. The Mariners are building a sneaky good team, no? Kyle Lewis, they've got some youngsters on that team. Julio Rodriguez coming up the ranks. Jared Kalanick coming up the ranks. Traditionally, ooh, and a Robert Pawson autograph. That's for Brandon and the A's. Nice. Yeah, we just need to pull the Dominguez auto at this point, right? And then we're in good shape. There's Tariq Skubal, 48 out of 50. Jason Dominguez paper, speaking of. To 
Tariq goes to the Tigers, Matt O. All right, Greg with the paper Dominguez. We got Brandon Howlett to four ninety nine. Two twenty eight out of four ninety nine for the Red Sox. Rex with the Red Sox. Yeah, that's what he's all about, Rex. Hopefully, he'll become a major leaguer. I don't think the second half of this break is is part of the promo, but uh, but it will be up if you want to keep chasing big monsters out of here. And here is James Beard, 65 out of 75. No beard for James Beard though. That's White Sox, Tony with the White Sox. Nice color here. Bobby Wood Jr. paper for Chris Murphy. Double, uh, 004? 84? 84 out of 150. Hunter Green. Reds have a good young team coming up the ranks, too. They already have some good players now. But guys like Hunter Green coming up the ranks, too. Reds. That will be for Matthew T. Final box coming up. Oh, and the NBA mixers fully sold out. How many fillers did we have to do for that? We did 124, so we just have to do 125 and the full spot, so all that's gone. Nice. So, yeah, we'll go through. Oh, I got 40 orders to go through after this, so, yeah, we'll figure out what sold out first, and yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Thanks, everybody. Nicely done. see how much I'm watching the I mentioned this earlier the Alex Smith for E60 
just to see how much of his leg and muscles they had to cut out of his leg and then him rehabbing it and then playing football again that's crazy I mean yeah that leg so mangled I wonder I mean he's he's guaranteed to win like comeback player of the year or whatever award there is right Imagine if the Redskins win the division. All right. Next box. Last box. Fourth and final. Robert Possum paper. Three more autos to go, and then we'll see. We'll see who sold out the basketball. The Robert Possum paper for the A's. You wouldn't say guaranteed, Ryan? Who else? I, I mean, who else is comeback player of the year candidate? Best comeback from something like this. There's Miguel Vargas, purple paper to 250. That's for my Dodgers. Zach with the Dodgers. Bobby Witt Jr. paper. Rothsburg? Yeah, that's definitely a great story. He'd probably be the second. I think he'll get consideration, but Alex Smith almost died. <laughs> you know? He had, he had a huge chunk of his leg. It looked like a shark had ate his leg. And now he's playing football again. Rossberger's elbow just fell off. You know? I'm sure that was a tough recovery, too. But Alex Smith, any other year, Rossberger would have won it. I think Alex Smith kind of one-upped him. 64 out of 125, Matt Libator Rays edition. Going to uh, EA and the Rays. And Aaron Ashby. Brewers autograph going to Raymond. I think he is part of that Ashby family. Followed Uncle Andy. Remember Andy Ashby? Uncle Andy Ashby into pro ball. Jason Dominguez, Chrome. Another one for uh, Greg and the Yankees. Paper, Jason Dominguez. Chrome, Robert Pawson. Robert goes to the A's, Brandon. And the paper, once again, another one for Greg. Yeah, actually, there there have been, since I walked into the shop earlier today, Mike, there's been people in the store all day. People waiting outside, too, to get into the store. We have a capacity limit here, but what's up, Jack? How's it going? 
But yeah, Pe- people have been showing up, masked up, and browsing around and taking advantage of our Black Friday deals. There's Chris Valamont, Minnesota Twins, Adam Kupperman. No deadline, Jack. There is no deadline in the description. No deadline for the jersey promo. Four or five people, I think, max in the store. I don't think it, and, and usually, usually there's no wait. Every once in a while, there's like, you might have to, there might be a person or two waiting outside. But most of the time, there's like a good. It's steady, but not not like a huge rush all at once. We got Jason Dominguez, Greg, with the uh, Bowman Scouts Top 100 card. keeping track of the autos. Do we have one more left or no more left? Sorry, I lost track. <laughs> I'll do a recap too. In just a second. There's Jordan Alvarez, purple paper to 250. That's for the Strohs. That'll be for Douglas. And that must be our final autograph. It's Miguel Vargas for the World Champion Los Angeles Dodgers. There you go. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what else we have here. Some paper. Some chrome. Horace Whitley to four ninety nine. And that, my friends, is that. That was four box, half case, random team number one of 2020 Bowman Baseball. That's Jumbo Edition. Check out the second half on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Here's a quick recap of what we saw. Some nice parallels, some nice Dominguez's and Witt Juniors and Robert Possons. And we got a couple nice autographs, too. Wait for it. There's the Robert Possen autograph for the A's. We got the one out of five Dylan Cease train whistle. Then we had the Bobby Wood Jr. autograph. This is a pretty great case. A lot of nice color, a lot of nice paper, chrome, a lot of fun stuff. That's our second Vargas autograph, one towards the beginning too. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.